So, Baruch Hashem, that we have a wonderful purpose in our lives, that we been blessed by the Creator to understand that our lives are not empty and external. We found an inner point of attachment to our hearts, to our souls, by being honest, listening to the voice of truth, the voice that is shining quietly, a voice of silence that rise from within. That voice is standing there like an awake person revealing and telling us in every intersection exactly to which direction we should turn, exactly what we should do. The way for us to recognize that voice is to listen to it with ears that are tuned for truth. The verse is saying, Divrei emet nikarim. Words of truth can be recognized. We should recognize the voice of truth that is speaking to us from inside. Never to lie not to others and not to ourselves. Never to fake, never to pretend. Of course, that if a person is in a certain struggle, in a certain danger, in a certain situation that he must protect himself, he should do whatever it takes to rescue himself from that danger. But we are talking about a physical danger. We are talking about a spiritual danger. We're not talking about a feeling of inconvenience that you feel that for that you're gonna choose to lie. We're talking about a real danger that for that cause, you're allowed to change the truth for you to be protected. But generally, Every person on earth must be honest in his journey and to be truthful, never to pretend to be someone that he is not, never to fake a certain condition or a status to try to make other people like you or think that you are something more or different than the one that you are, because by Drifting away from the truth, we are, God forbid, dividing ourselves from the Creator. Because the Creator, He is the one who creates reality. He is the one <clears throat> that is building and designing and creating the world in its shape, in its structure, with its nature. And if he made you in a certain form with certain qualities and character, he made you like that for a purpose, for you to complete a certain part of his complete creation, of his operation. And if we are scared to admit the truth of being that part, that link in the chain that we are, by doing that, we are expressing our lack of understanding on the importance of our part in the greater picture of the reality that we are part of. You are the one that the Creator made you to be. Therefore, you must be the one that He created you to be for you to express the qualities and the treasures that he treasured inside of you. Maybe you're finding it hard to recognize how great and spiritual and with a very high and deep potential, spiritual potential and emotional depth 
you are. Maybe it's hard for you to grasp how powerful and meaningful and precious and beautiful you are. But it doesn't mean that you should try to fake reality and to pretend to be someone that you are not. The best thing for you to do, for us to do, as simple people, is try to recognize our greatness, is to try to find out who we really are, what is the great locked potential of our souls and spirits, and to understand the greatness of the Creator that created us as we are. Because the Creator had a deep intention in making us to be the one that we are. For us to use those qualities and those powers that have been given to us as tools to carve our way in reality, to make a path for others to follow us, to reach the light, to get to the real goal and purpose of our existence to experience the complete redemption of the whole wide world. And it's in our power to shine the light that is treasured inside our bodies, the light of our souls that are shining the godly light of our maker, of the creator of the universe. And we must join forces together for everyone to be able to contribute the portion that was given to him, for him to link to that chain, to that train, to that tree of life. The tree of life is a tree that is built from all the thinnest and thicker branches. Together we are composing this wonderful, wonderful eternal oak of life together while holding hands with complete respect with love and honor we can shine the complete light of the creator upon all his creation and may we all understand our greatness and will experience the complete redemption in our days and in the days of all our loved ones, together, united as one.